I'm James McIntosh. I'm from an old farmhouse in the middle of County Armagh between Tandragee and Portadown. I live in London and I spend a lot of my time in China. I present food TV in China and I write lots of cookery books. It's been a mad journey through China. I've seen so much of it. It's the most beautiful country and the most overly populated one at the same time. And I got an opportunity in 2009 to present a TV series called Food Adventures in the Silk Road. And it was fantastic. The TV show was about the world's original trade route, which is called the Silk Road. And we looked at how this road really made our cuisines and our cultures. Dad was a farmer, mum was a home economics teacher, and food was always in my blood, from plough to plate. You know, growing up in a farming community, you know your neighbours. We had Aberdeen Angus. I remember Dad teaching us how to make hay. And you go through and you learn it and it's in your blood. So while mum taught home economics in Portadown, I really learned the food system, the proper food system. When I spend so long travelling, you get tired. When you get tired, you get grumpy. But you can never show that on camera and at work, but you do. And comfort food's the only thing that can make up for that. And it is a packet of cheese and onion for me. It is a soda farl. It is a bit of bacon and you know, in a bap. That's comfort food. That's the food I miss. And Northern Ireland's changed a lot, and it's so exciting to see. The produce that we have from the province is second to none. Because we have these pure farms, and these families with farming in their blood for so long, we're able to produce these things like Abernethy butter, Suki tea grown in Northern Ireland, all of these things that we know, that's what I missed. And I'm finding it all back home in Northern Ireland, and I'm so proud of what my country's doing now. I present food TV in China and there's good food put in front of me that's not within a hound's girl or what you'd find in Poonins and Porter Down. I'll go, that's powerful. And I have Chinese running about going, powerful James, powerful James. And they don't know what it means. But that's my home and that's what I'm proud of. But we have a newfound confidence in Northern Ireland. And talking to food producers here, they're saying we have a confidence now we didn't have before. And I think Northern Ireland's just ready to hit the world. We need people coming here to see the purity of it, because we have it. Northern Irish Connections is a really clever way of finding those of us who, who miss home, who want to get in contact with people from home, and having people in business. And we have, oh, we have to produce the heads of every major company in the world. Being able to pick up the phone, how are you, where are you from, always starts a conversation. And it builds a bond that you can't get with any other culture. And Northern Irish Connections provides this. Being the food ambassador for Northern Irish Connections allows me an opportunity to find Northern Irish produce and talk to my colleagues all over the world about it in the food world, in the media world, through the famous chefs I know globally. But also to be able to speak to Northern Irish people who work internationally in food companies to say, look, this flavour and trend's going on at home. Think about it. Talk to such and such. Have you thought about using Arma apples? It's about the connections, it's about doing business with the people you grew up with and it's about, there's a trust we have together.